This video has been going viral all over the internet after this, this security guard rushing the celebrities off the red carpet and pushing them, touching them, and creating a whole big-ass drama. Why is she doing this? My best guess is she has a dinner date plans with her nine cats. And how do I know this? Because I used to have 18 cats myself, and I know the feeling of doing whatever it takes to go back to your babies. Now, I'm only stuck with this one, Shaitan. Say hello. And it's not like she has beef with this one specific actress. It is, she has beef with everyone because there has been multiple videos coming around the internet of her quote unquote from, this is from the people on the internet, disrespecting the talents. Now I've always said this and I'm gonna, my friend, it stinks. Now I've said this before, I'm gonna say it again. If you are this miserable in your job, Maybe it is time for you to change it or start looking at different career paths. For example, if you're working at a carnival and you close at midnight and a kid comes and he's been waiting to play this specific game has been on a fucking three hour road trip and is there to play it and you're like just because you've been on like a six or eight hour or ten hour shift you're like no we're closed and that kid his ice cream is fucking melting and he's gonna go home heartbroken and it's gonna curse you forever and it's gonna traumatize that kid because you never let him play that one specific game then it is time for you to start thinking about career paths now it is understandable if you work at a restaurant and someone comes in like five minutes late or two minutes late after you close the cashiers are already closed the numbers are already set into system that's understandable you can say no but if you can make it happen you do it just if they're like five minutes late and you're probably like you sit in your ass and you make youtube videos you yap all day you play with your cat and you take instagram stories you don't do shit you don't know how a nine to five is well I hate to break it to you, but I do know what it, how it is. I've been working since I was 14 years old as a coach, sales representative, usher, supervisor. Even that carnival example I gave you, yes, I was in the same situation and someone came up to me, they were late, and I let them play it. Now, this whole thing took place at a 2024 Cannes Film Festival in France, where a lot of celebrities came to celebrate the awards they're about to win, they were nominated. You know how red carpet works. They, rich people, uh, they come in tuxedos or dresses and they just wave around for their fans and their fans are screaming jumping up and down love you bro they get interviewed they sign autographs they wave their goodbyes and they go inside and wait for the nominations and the uh, awards and the people around them are either their managers or ushers and security guards people offering champagnes and what is an usher slash security guards job is to keep them moving and prevent any hardcore fans from uh, jumping and hugging them to death because as i understand when you're in a red carpet you got to keep on moving you have a very limited time given to you that you're allowed to be in that specific area you got to move to the next section and the next section so other celebrities can move to your section and you know the chain goes on and as an experienced usher myself i've been into this kind of wars it wasn't no like oscars or something but it was like big people ceos i've worked multiple dozens and dozens of events like this where you guide people where to go you sign them in whatever and once that area gets full you gotta keep them moving do you come and you do this and you're like that is the only direction you can go there is nowhere else no, you don't. You just tell them, please, can you keep it moving? The area is getting uh, packed up. But she had some other ideas in her head. Now, it all started with this K-pop singer turned into actress. But she didn't really say anything. I assume she was still in shock. But when it came to this woman over here, she did not let it slide. The security guard first stepped on her dress and she, she apologized. And that, you know, the celebrity was like, oh, it's fine. It's okay. Don't worry about it. But after that, the thing she told the celebrity, that is a time where the celebrity crashed out is that your real hair how dare you ask this question keep it moving hot shot you look fat in that dress do you know who i am now lucky for you i'm a very good lips reader so that is exactly what happened in this situation and later on the cele celebrity was interviewed and she said that this was a racist stuff roland standing by her actions and appearing to suggest race may have played a role and there were other women that attended that carpet that did not quite look like me and they didn't get there scolded or pushed off or told to get off now as an experienced usher who has been ushering for three years and a person who also hosted a thousand birthday parties for kids and who worked at bounce the trampoline park i know the difference between dealing with adults and dealing with kids and no you cannot make mix the two together when a kid wants to go somewhere and they're not supposed to or they're supposed to move on 
this is what you do. You block it. You're like, nope, nope, that way, buddy. But when an adult, you want to make an adult go somewhere. They are not children. <laughs> you can't be like, nope, nope. I know you want to go back. No more pictures. Go to your seat. Now, ushering isn't always rainbows and unicorns. You'll obviously have your bad days with rude people talking shit to your face or belittling you. That happened to me a lot. People thinking they're the shit and thinking because I am, you know, just guiding them to your seat. They're thinking I'm not worth anything. That obviously triggers some things in you or if you have your personal family issues that's going on in your life, you're having relationship problems, marriage problems, things like that. It is obviously going to affect your work. But you gotta always keep it professional when it comes to especially events like this, film festivals. Because God forbid, if you run into Will Smith and you do the same thing to him, you are going to get smacked. Now, the third person, she took it to the next level with this Ukrainian model where she fucking hugged her and carried her out. This whole thing, if you watch it without context and you have no idea what's going on, is a kidnapping. Now, with this last celebrity, it also got heated. And as you know, celebrities love to make an entrance. And this one came with a 30 meter Jesus tail. Now, there's a lot of ushers around the celebrities as well. But why are they not getting the heat is because they are not acting the way she is. She is getting up in their face and telling them, keep it moving. I really want to know actually what she's telling the celebrities. Move it. We don't have time for your shit. Who do you think you are? Keep it moving. But obviously keeping a smile on her face because it is all just, just friendly. I'm just doing my job. A lot of people took it to the internet and they're like trying to cancel her. And some people are like, oh, she's just doing her job. And because of the backlash, a lot of media, you know, because they're covering this story, they reached out to the the event management and they wanted to get uh they wanted to get a statement out of them and the uh, people who work there the managers over there who were hosting this uh film festival they said that she was only doing her job she didn't do anything bad my friend you are gr you're fucking kidnapping uh <laughs> It's celebrity. Now, it is still unclear her motive for shoving celebrities inside the event as soon as possible. We still don't know if she has problems at home, she hates her job, or this is just her personality. But if it is only her personality and she has no problems at home, then she probably just fucking hates, hates her job and she needs to change it. I know it might not be as simple as it is, but it, it kind of is. I mean, if you have a, a family and you need to take care of them, sure, start looking for other jobs. Keep applying. In a matter of few months or a few weeks, inshallah, something will click. It's like the people who hired the staff made sure, like, you know, they fucking hate the celebrities. The best thing in this situation is just talk to them and be understand. I'm sorry, but there are others coming as well. Please, can you move it? faster maybe the celebrities egos are too big and they want to make an interest especially with this last one with the 30 meter jesus tail and now if i was a normal youtuber and i made a video about her her not doing her job i would have got a lot of shit for it but thankfully well it sucks for you but it's good for me i have a lot of experience and a lot of jobs anyways let me know your thoughts in the comments let me know if she was in the right or wrong just share your thoughts we want to comment so the algorithm can move forward but if you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. I post daily videos talking shit about the shits in the world and I make fun of cringe people. It's a perfect thing if you want if you're eating for lunch, breakfast, dinner. Anyways, take care of yourself. I'll see you at the next one.